What's up YouTube? Sky, that one guy here, and today we have a pretty awesome Christmas opening. Uh, so we got all these mystery boxes here, mystery graded cards, mystery cube, chaos box, that's a really old one, and then we got a bunch of blisters here. And then at the very end, we're going to open up a few vintage first edition Legacy of Darkness packs. So these are really old packs, they're like $75 to $100 each, so really cool packs, and we're going to open up at least three of those. Maybe a few more, we'll see. But uh, it is Christmas, so I am going to do a giveaway. Um, so no matter what, I'm going to pick at least one person. And that person will have their choice of either uh, a full set of Magnificent Maven sleeves. So, whoops, I just dropped one of them. You didn't hear that. So it'd be one of each artwork from Magnificent Mavens. There's six different packs of sleeves. So you could either choose... Uh, the sleeves plus a sticker, pretty cool sticker, um, or if you don't want the sleeves and sticker, you could also choose this playmat in the background, which you'll see a little bit better here, but it's the uh, Team Samurai playmat that's also signed from Team Samurai, so you'll be able to choose either one of those, uh, either the playmat or the pack sleeves, and yeah, that's the giveaway. All you got to do is just be subscribed and leave a comment, just say anything you want, just anybody who comments, you'll be entered. And, uh, you know, throw a like on the video if you want. Maybe share the video, but those aren't required. Just uh, leave a comment and be subscribed. So, enough about the giveaway. Let's just uh, get into these packs. So, I think, I think we're going to start with the graded mystery packs. Just because they're, uh, they don't really stand on their own. They're kind of, like, awkward. So, I think we're going to open these up first. But yeah, there's a better view of the playmat. Like I said, if you want the playmat or the sleeves, whatever you want. So these are the mystery gems from Walmart. They're sold by, or they're made by uh, MJ Holding. Uh, they're only like 15 bucks or something like that. But honestly, probably don't buy them. Most of the time, you only get BCCGs, uh, which is like not the best. Like Beckett's reputable, but that's like their lower end grading. So. Basically what I'm saying is let me nag buying these and you guys save your money. I've never opened one of these. I don't see an easy way. Okay, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Is it, oh, it's backwards. Okay, so here's our first mystery box. Mystery gems. Here we go. Dark Magician. Pretty cool, actually. Not bad. So this is just the Legendary Collection 1 reprint, so it's not like super expensive or anything. It's 2010, but still pretty cool. Uh, again, BCCG, near mint or better. Not an actual gem mint card, but still really cool. We got one more of these mystery gems. Let's see what we get. Okay. I think I saw a little bit of a card there. Okay, throw that away real quick. Sorry if that was loud. And we got a Winged Dragon of Raw. So, again, this is from the 2010 Legendary Collection, but still pretty cool. So, those were our mystery gems. Pretty sweet. Let's open up this Power Cube next. Uh, cool. I had scissors. Oh, there they are. Okay. These are always like super awkward to open. There we go. But yeah, hopefully everybody's having a great Christmas. Uh, if you're watching this on Christmas, um, definitely let me know what kind of presents you guys got down in the uh, comments. You know, did you get any Yu-Gi-Oh related things? Did you get what you wanted? Any Anything cool from the parents or relatives or significant others? Okay, so this, I don't really know what this is supposed to come with. I didn't read it. Okay, so 35 commons, 5 rares, 2 boosters, 1 legacy. Okay, so they actually put hollows in here. This is actually a mint Ragaki bottle from Generation 4, so that's pretty cool. And Storm Dragon's Return, Live Twin Lilla. So there was 3 hollows. Not bad. And a stack of commons. Barricade Lord Blocker. So it's weird because it said five rares. Yeah, five rares. We only got three. Everything else is a common. So I don't know what happened there, but still, cool. I'm okay with that. 
Oh, wait, there they are. Wait, there's one right there. Is there another one on the other side? Yeah, there was. Okay, so here's the other two cards. Summon a Great Gazelle and Thunderclap Skywolf. Okay, now we got three packs. And this is actually pretty, pretty cool packs. Those were actually really good packs. When was this made? 2021? Wow, okay, cool. Again, this is the Mystery Power Cube. Let's get this. Here, I'm just going to set that over here. So we've got a 2017 Mega Pack, Pendulum Evolution, and Dimension of Chaos. I'm actually excited for all three of these. There's good cards in all of these. Let's go with Pendulum Evolution first. This set was incredibly cheap for years and years and years. And it finally started to pick up. Okay. Astrograph Sorcerer. That's a nice one. Time Star Magician. Lecture Pendulum. Oracle of Zephra. And Amazing Pendulum. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's go into the 2017 Mega Pack. I don't even know what's in here. I mean, gosh, we're on 2022 Mega Tens now. 2017. This one's pretty old. Let's see what's in here. Okay, turn the world next. Okay. Oh, Dino Miscus. I think that's like a two, three dollar common. That's actually a good one. Blackwing Goku, nice. Oh, Magician of Dark Illusions. Okay. That's uh should be pretty valuable, pretty decent for a super rare. Oh, foolish burial goods. Okay. Pretty sure this pretty sure we just hit like two five dollar cards. True King. Uh, Barastos. Okay, not bad. That was a good pack. Man, between those two and the Dino Miscus, that definitely would have paid for that. Sweet. That was a good one. Okay, and then we'll open up Dimension of Chaos. Got some really cool ultimate rares in here. Chance of Ghost Rare. Really good set. DD Savant Kepler, Super Heavy Samurai, Cosmo Wicked Witch, DD Rebel King Leonidas. Okay, that's pretty cool. I actually think this set wasn't even guaranteed supers, if I remember right. Necro Sign. So I think getting a super error was a win. I'm pretty sure. So sweet. First product, or er, second, second box down, uh, or third third mystery boxes okay so let's go into this mystery box then we'll do the blisters then the chaos box then the vintage okay mystery box so this has one count uh 60 count pack of sleeves two booster packs look for seated chase pack one and two but yeah let me know how you guys christmas is going hopefully you all have an awesome one um definitely looking forward to mine spend mine with Daughter's gonna be awesome. Wow, what is this? Wait, what? Okay. Chase seated pack one, two, two booster packs. Special edition. Isn't this multiple packs? I've never seen that before. And an invasion of chaos, man. So I think we hit the seated pack. Okay, so these sleeves are actually really nice. I think they sell for like 10 bucks or something. Not bad. Um, yeah, really confused because it says two packs and I think this is multiple packs. It doesn't say anything about a chance at a deck or a special edition. Let's open this uh, Dark Neo Storm special edition open. Is this like a Euro print thing? I feel like this is a Euro print thing. Yeah, this is three packs in here. Yeah, the definitely Euro print. You can tell by that strip there. Okay. So that's why I've never seen it before. Cool. Dark Neo Storm Special Edition. So this was only supposed to be two booster packs, but somehow we got four. So I'm I'm cool with that. Uh, and it looks like we got a promo Beat Raptor. Oh, is there two cards in there? Never seen this before either. Let's open it. Beat Raptor and Magicalized Fusion. These are definitely Euro prints. They're already warped. Still cool though. Okay, let's open up these three Dark Neostorm packs. That's a bonus. We're only supposed to get two packs here. Thank you, MJ Holding. All these mystery boxes are made from MJ Holding. They supply most of the Walmarts. 
and other retailers. Okay, Dark Neostorm. I actually don't remember too much about this set. It's been a while. Okay, Amphibious, Swarm Ship, Abla Whale. I think that was the pre-release promo, wasn't it? Uh, oh, Fusion Destiny. My gosh, okay. Wow. So this was like $20, $30 for a long time. Long time. Um, still, still valuable, but it's not $20 or $30 anymore. But man... That's a solid pack. I've had this sitting on my shelf for like a while now. I probably should have opened it sooner than that part was still worth money, but man, that's still pretty cool. That's sweet. Fusion Destiny is a good card. Okay. Philo, Messenger for Hire, and number five, Doom Chimera Dragon. Really cool artwork. Really cool card, number card. Not bad. Not bad at all. And next, Dark Neostorm pack. Star Starring Starling and Pendulum Halt is the super rare. Okay, not bad. So let's go into our Invasion of Chaos Vintage pack. It's, uh, it is the 2010 reprint, but still a really cool Invasion of Chaos pack. Man, there's a lot of good cards in this set. Really like to hit a hollow in this one. Here we go. Cannonball, Spears, Shellfish. Grin Maju dies. Oh, that's a good common. Sea Serpent, Warrior of Darkness. Oh, nice. DD Scout Plane, Super Rare. Sweet. We hit a hollow on the vintage pack. That's awesome. Very cool. And Curse of Darkness. That's actually a pretty good rare. Sweet. Okay. All right, I'm running out of room here. I don't know where to put these cards anymore. I think we're just going to stack them all up now. Okay. So we're going to do some of these blister packs now. So let's just do an order here. So we'll go with the one Darkwing Blast to the lone Darkwing Blast booster blister pack. I had some... Uh, Best Buy uh, credit and like gift card, um, and I couldn't really decide anything. I didn't really need any electronics. And I checked their Yu-Gi-Oh section; they had some packs, so I grabbed a couple. Uh, but yeah, Baku the Beast Ninja. So just a super in that one, but pretty cool artwork. Pretty cool looking super. All right, then we got two Power of the Elements. This set is. Really popular. I uh, did get reprinted recently. Yeah, you can see Best Buy order. But yeah, it did get reprinted recently, but these are the first editions reprints of the Unlimited, so pretty cool. Oh, I came flying out of there. So Power of the Elements, you know, Chance of Starlights, there's the Sprite cards. So there's a lot of good cards in here. The Secret Rares are insane in this set. Okay, Power of the Elements. Oh, nice. Favorite contact. We hit an ultra rare. Sweet. All right. Nice little hero trap card. Yeah, we're doing really good. Doing really good on this opening. I'm really enjoying this so far. And we got another power of the elements. Last one of this. Power of the elements. Can we get another ultra or secret? Let's find out. Okay, just a super Exo Sister Returnia. Still pretty cool though. Okay, really nice artwork on that one. Okay, running out of space for all these cards. So now we've got Brothers of Legends. So this is not the newest Battles of Legends set. This is a little bit older one. This has the uh, Starlight Red Eyes Dragoon, I think. Yeah, and then the Astral Leviathan Dragon. Uh, and it's got a chance at like Forbidden Droplet, and there's some cool cards in here. So we got six of these. So let's get into these. Uh, yeah, and for anybody still watching this part of the video, uh, I will have some eBay auctions starting tomorrow, starting Monday. So if you want to support the channel, definitely go check out those auctions. 200 items, about 200 items. 
Um, and there's a bunch of graded cards, uh, some cool field centers, some other some really cool stuff, all starting at a dollar. So anybody can, can win, participate. There will be graded cards for like under 25 bucks, graded cards for under 50. There will be a bunch of cool stuff. So if, even if you've never owned a graded card, you know, now's a good time. So just if you want to support the channel, definitely check out my eBay tomorrow. Okay, Brothers of Legend. CS Robro Sage. Kreeborn, nice. White Mirror. Fossil Dig, that's a good one. Oh, Nibiru, first pack, sweet. That's a good secret rare, awesome. All right, next pack. But yeah, definitely check out the eBay store if you want to support the channel. Even if you just bid on a few items, you know, bid them up to 10 bucks. You never know, maybe you'll win one. Sometimes some of them get overlooked, so worth a shot. And, uh, and if you are if you already uh, collect graded cards, there's going to be some really good first edition uh, LOB to AST PSA 10s. There's going to be some Pharaoh's Servant PSA 10s. There's some cool stuff in there. So Penguin Sword, another Fossil Dig, nice. Astral Topia, Kaiju Capture Mission, and Altergeist Pookery. Po Pokery, I don't know. Four left, here we go. Then we got that Chaos Box to open. That's going to be sweet. All right, so yeah, all together, this is like a good amount of money in this opening. Kaiju Capture Mission, AI Show, Ice Mirror, Fernoi Decatron, and Centaur Mina. But yeah, I didn't do the exact math. I'll probably do it later, but this is at least like a $500 opening, I'd say. Um, maybe a little bit more. And uh, yeah, again, there's that giveaway too. So at least, I'll choose at least one winner. And that winner can select between the two things. And if we get enough people that comment, like if this video gets some good views, good comments, I might choose two winners and just give them both away. So we'll see. See how that goes. So be sure to share it if you can. That'd help out a lot too. Rank up Agent Chaos Force. And that way if you share it, you know, if enough people share it, it's not like you're losing your chance. I'll have it, I'll add a second winner if we get enough. But uh Godarla, that's a nice one. Horse of the Floral Knights, Karibo, and Relinquished Anima. That's actually a really good one. Sweet. So we've gotten two really good ones so far from these Brothers of Legend. The Nibiru and the Relinquished. Awesome. Two packs left. Here we go. One of these days I'll pull a Starlight Rare or, or the Astral Leviathan or something crazy from just a few blister packs. Okay, Kaiju Capture Mission, AI Show, Ice Mirror, Infernoid Decatron, and Speedroid Scratch. So, last pack, Brothers Legend. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's see. Okay, Ice Mirror, Infernoid Decatron, Penguin Sword, Number Protection. Stealth Kragen Spawn. I think that's actually a good one too. So those were pretty successful packs overall. We're going to stack them up. I think I'm going to stack up a bunch of this stuff. Just kind of scoot it out of the way. Unfortunately, we got to make some room here for this Chaos Box. So Chaos Box comes with one Legacy Pack, one Mega Pack, three Booster Packs. And this is uh, one of the really old Chaos. This is the first Chaos Box. Like they've made a lot of different versions. It's like one of the first ones. This is... Um, should be a year on here. I'm blind, I'm not seeing it, but I, I believe this is one of the really old ones, uh, the Chaos Boxes. It's got, what is that, like a 2016 Mega 10 pack on it? So these are actually, I think these sell for like upwards of $50 on eBay, which is pretty crazy because they, they used to sell in the Walmarts for like 20 or 25. So this is one of the things that you definitely shouldn't open. You should just keep it sealed and sell it to somebody else. But, we're going to break that rule and do it anyways. We're going to open it. <laughs> I don't think there's... We'd have to pull something really good to get our money back on this one, but that's okay. I, I really like the box. Gosh, this doesn't want to open. It was already smashed, though, when I when I got it. But, but I do really like the box. Like the Dark Magician Girl with the Yugi on a sealed product. That's awesome. But yeah, here we go. Let's see what's inside. Box is smashed up. All right, here's our packs. 
there they are. That's it. So we'll leave that there just to kind of let us know what we're opening. Okay, so we've got a 2018 Mega Pack. Uh, ooh, Invasion. we got another Invasion of Chaos. We got Cybernetic Horizon, Breakers of Shadow, and Judgment of Light. Awesome. I think we're going to go in this order here. That's what we're going to do. So, five packs. Cybernetic Horizon. I opened up a case of this set when I first dropped. Had pretty good luck. Crusade. Oh, look at that. Realm of Danger Ultra Rare. I told you, yeah. I usually have pretty good luck with this set. Awesome. So an Ultra Rare from that pack. Pretty good. Let's go into Breakers of Shadow. This is the set that they changed the rarities in the packs and started doing guaranteed super rares, I believe. Uh, that was this set. So changed things up quite a bit for how packs were opened. All right, Shiryu Stewart. Uh, I think that's actually a decent common. Deskbot. Oh, no way. Twin Twisters. So when this set first came out, this card was actually like really expensive for a super rare. This card was really popular back then. It's still, you know, it's still pretty good, but it's been reprinted quite a few times. But yeah, that's a huge hit. We're, you know, getting some really good pulls from this box so far. Let's keep it going. Judgment of the Light. I think this has a chance to Ghost Rare and some Ultimate Rares. So that'd be insane, but let's see. This is a Euro print pack. You can tell by the, the flap on the back of the pack. So let's see what we get. Vein Betrayer. Okay. Trap Tricks A Tracks. So I think that means we didn't get a hollow. Yeah. So no hollow in that pack. Still really cool. Trap Tricks A Tracks. And like I said, you know, this is right before they change. Well, not right, but this is before they change the pack ratios. And then after in Breakers of Shadow, they change it to where you always get a super rare. So I get why they why they did it. it kind of sucks not getting a hollow, but I also kind of like the old ways still. So it's kind of a it's a tough choice, but here's a 2018 Mega Pack. Again, no idea what's in this set. This is, what, four years old now? About to be five. Pretty crazy. 2018 Mega Pack. Let's see what we get. Demise, King of Armageddon. Secure Gardener. Nimble Beaver. Pretty cool. All right, Goki Twist Cobra. Ooh, Supreme King Z Arc Secret Rare. And a rival rivals with a metal rocket dragon. Awesome, not bad. Not bad at all. Getting some pretty good hollows. Alright, last pack of the Chaos box. Invasion of Chaos. Can we get another hollow? We already got one. Can we go two for two on Invasion of Chaos? We've got a good feeling about this pack. Let's try for a hollow. Ultra rare or secret rare would be insane, but any hollow would be a win. Giga, Gaga, Gigo, Dimension Distortion, Zero Gravity, Stumbling, and, oh, Compulsory Evacuation Device, and Salvage. So no hollow, but uh, really good rare. Okay, all right. Now here's what a lot of you came to see. Here we go. Cast box is done. Okay, so now we've got... Three first edition Legacy of Darkness packs. Like I said, these packs are like seventy-five to hundred dollars each. Really expensive packs. Uh, I have, I have more of these packs, and I kind of just reached in, and grabbed three random ones. There was no, no like, we could get zero hollows in here. We could get one. We could get two. You know, I have no idea. Uh, but they're definitely untampered packs. So I'm ho I'm. Really hoping we get just one, at least one hollow from these three. That'd be the huge main goal. If we don't get a hollow, I've got some, some more packs right here. Might break into them. We'll see how I'm feeling. But here we go. Legacy of Darkness. First edition packs. These packs are expensive. And they're in amazing shape. Flap's still not, not even broken. Here we go. Yeah. Secret rares in here are insane. Check the Fairy Lily. Yada Garasu. That would be insane. Ultra rares are really good in this set. Here we go. Alright, first pack. Frontier Wiseman. Possessed Dark Soul. Super Eju, that's a really good common. 
Fushi Natori. Oh, we actually hit a hollow. Wow, first edition Exiled Force. I am so unprepared. Okay, I did not expect a hollow. Let me grab a sleeve real quick. Sorry, guys. Let's put a sleeve on here. Then Gradius option is next. Let's check out the condition here. That is clean. That is clean, sweet. Okay. So it's all all Legacy of Darkness uh, hollows are off-centered. So I kind of expected that already. But the rest of the card's clean, so I'm pretty happy. Wow, we already hit one hollow out of three packs. Whew, I almost just want to stop right there. But I, I told you guys three packs, so we'll open three packs. Gradius Option, Blue Three Gentlemen, a Legendary Ocean, and Robo Yaru. I actually have a playmat. That's just this artwork from Ophidian uh, Accessories, I think is what their name is. Ophidian something. Uh, and it looks really nice. They're only like a $40 playmat, so $50 playmat or something. Pretty cool. So that was our first pack was a win. First pack was a big win. I was really nervous that we wouldn't even get one holo. But we did it. Okay, Legacy of Darkness, second pack. If we get two holos out of three packs, that'd be insane. All right, Whew. man, I always get nervous when I open these old vintage packs. This is, I think, was Legacy of Darkness 2004, I want to say, maybe 2003. So this is, you know, 20 years old. First edition pack, expensive. Okay, well, I'm feeling pretty good about this pack. Feeling pretty good. All right, hope everybody's having an awesome Christmas. Gonna have an awesome new year. Whew, here we go, guys. Ominous Fortune Telling, Mysterious Guard, Stamping Destruction, Spring of Rebirth, Bottomless Trap Pull. So just a rare, but man, what an iconic rare. Twin-Headed Wolf, Bubble Crash, Robotic Knight, and Double Snare. Look at that, Bottomless Trap Pull. I mean, that card was playable for a long time. Really good card. Okay, second pack down. Whew. Last pack of the video, guys. It's been 30 minutes. Anybody who actually watched the whole video, I really appreciate it. Again, everybody, Merry Christmas. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Just leave a comment and be subscribed. That's all you got to do. Maybe like the video. Um, check out the eBay tomorrow if you can. Really appreciate anybody who bids on my auctions. Um, starting Monday and ending in a week from then. So the next Monday, following Monday. And here we go, last pack. Whew. Nervous. Can we get one more holo? Please, last pack magic, please. Kind of looks like we might. I mean, there's a chance, but I don't know. Here we go. Legacy Darkness, first edition. Here we go. Patrician of Darkness, last pack magic. Faint plan. Dragon's Rage. Skull Knight number two. Oh, just a rare. Okay, Dragon's Bead. Hunter with seven weapons. Lizard Soldier. Disappear and the Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. All right, Dragon's Bead. Awesome, okay. Well, that was the opening, guys. We opened up, and that was a lot, of, <clears throat> a lot of packs. What was that, like <clears throat> 20, 30 packs, maybe more? Some vintage expensive ones. We had blister packs. We had mystery boxes. We had all kinds of stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, one winner, at least one winner. You can choose between the, the full set of Magnificent Maven sleeves. So six packs plus this sticker. So you get seven things in total. Or you can choose the signed play mat from Team Samurai X. <clears throat> Either way, whatever you want to choose. And uh, if we get enough viewers and comments, I might do two giveaways just Give them both away. So we'll see what happens. Um, and yeah, Exiled Force, super rare. Super excited about that. Very happy. Three packs. Getting one hollow from three packs. That's a win for me. Uh, yeah, again, Merry Christmas, everybody. Have, hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.